Hello again. Here is an old glory 25 millimeter. That's metal. Casualty figure. American tool. A Confederate, I suppose. But he could be Union. <laughs> but those holes in the trousers are more likely to be a Confederate feature, I suppose. Uh, yes, so this chap took me probably about six hours of gouging and fettling to get uh, the underside and the legs and the boots especially right. Uh, so, oh, and that's just the way I paint them when they don't need bases. So, um, you can paint most of the figure and then you just pull that out and uh, blow the super glue, I suppose, to seal the hole. <laughs> and they just sit on the diorama a lot better without a base. But bases are needed on casualty figures sometimes to, if they're vulnerable to damage, especially. So, yes. I do like these uh, old glory casualty figures. They do look nice and ragged and messed up a bit. Yes. So I've just got to add some blood and a uh, bit of mud. And it's done. So, um, I suppose I could take this opportunity to show you what I've done on that diorama briefly uh, okay and there it is yes well I don't know if you can see but I'll put some more light I'll put another light on I've got a new backdrop which is uh, as you see it's a piece of plastic sign writing stuff i think it's about two millimeters thick but as you can see there's no corner it's a nice smooth curve so it's um you can see shadow behind the tree but that doesn't matter um i suppose there could be a corner there but uh, it doesn't crinkle of course so uh it's very good for creating that sort of atmosphere you see what I mean you feel that when you are like this immersed slightly within the space of the diorama that it does feel more realistic in its own little ecology or environment I suppose so I'll show you briefly what I've been doing uh, since I last did a video of it here those are um, spare 3D printed figures. Uh, a little tussle over a standard there. And uh, that's. Ooh, we can double the. Oh, look at that, eh? There's a bit of a scrap going on there. These are all spare 3D printed figures. A pile of dead. And some of their muskets, I think. So, elsewhere, I don't think there's anything new there, particularly. No, seen all that. Oh, this is just a little seam. Now, <laughs> with the chaplain attending to a. Uh, it's actually a confederate, so I'm assuming he's been taken on in an early, overrun by an early skirmish action, perhaps. So now he's behind the Union line. Just. And, um, oh yes, there's the pig. He's just crashed through the gate. The old picket fence. Yeah. 
yeah, finally I've finished that crew of pairing miniatures, metal, with some metal gun. I have got the trail spike chap done at last. And he fits perfectly. It's amazing. And he's separate to that base with the gun and the rest of the crew on. He's on a coin, so what a piece of luck that is. Uh, yes. What else has been done? You've probably seen all this before, all these casualties. And, uh, but I think the backdrop, let me just get a decent shot, a decent position. Uh, the backdrop is uh, making things a lot easier to photograph. I can photograph more of the battlefield now. Uh, this is all just, well, I'll gradually fill all that with battlefield and whatnot. Most of the stuff here is just temporary at the moment, and the positions of the figures even uh, temporary. Um, because it'll, I'll have to make sure they're as close as I can get to the Battle of Franklin, but the, the eastern flank by the river. So, um, hmm. yes, it's, um, it's good to have that backdrop, but I need to add maybe some hills, faint hills in the distance. Uh, that's just moss from outside I put on that uh, plastic tree sprue from Woodland Scenics. And, um, yes, another look at that. Where is it? Touching little scene. Isn't that great? What you can do these days. The, the, the two, the figures that really make it, I think, are those. Uh, the, the ones on the extreme right uh, at the moment. Oh, there's General Grant. Yes. That's supposed to be Hooker. Got in some great photos here. Look at this double magnification. Let's see if I can get some more. Close-ups. Huh. Get this closer into focus properly. Oh, the faces are getting the shadow of the nurse. But um, let's see if I can. Oh. Let me just angle a bit. Yes. Oh, you haven't seen my marching band, have you? These are also Spera miniatures, uh, 3D printed figures. Well, I've got a few more figures to add to that. A few more drums and fifes, probably. But, wow. They're yeah, such great figures. That just adds the, the correct atmosphere of almost ridiculousness but yet it did happen uh, and they went in in the Battle of Franklin the musicians, the bands with the soldiers, the fighting soldiers so, but mind you what brilliant looking figures they just look so realistic yes magnificent as I keep saying, I think this is a golden age for this particular type of hobby. Hmm. Oh, you've seen all these, I think. They're all getting a bit dusty, but it's easy to brush dust off with a brush. Dead easy. And uh, the dust probably helps tone down any shiny matte varnish. It's not matte, but more satin or whatever. I might have done one. Like him, he needs... He's too shiny, I think. 
Yes. He's, he's more dust. Or mud. Uh, yeah, so, oh, it's good, this camera. You can really see, see, that's the, these are some skirmishes that are being sort of caught up and then blobs of pink mist coming out of them. I can really focus in now on this. Uh, I'll have to do a few more videos in case this isn't, this one's too long. There's a flying head. Get close now. Hmm. Maybe another final shot. There we go. That's not bad. Starting to look like a boiling up battle. Like a boiling sea. Almost. I will be once I've got enough smoke and casualties of the like up there. Still, with a camera like this, one can uh, really show one's stuff off. <laughs> yes. That's a Raven Banner Games casualty. Fantastic. Uh, well, this is great having focus at one's fingertips. I have to stop saying ones. What else are you supposed to say with that? Sounds like a twat. I don't want to sound like the royal family. Look at that. Marvellous modern technology. Yes, I think 3D printed figures are the way to go, most definitely. There's less work in their preparation. Let's get the whole thing if I can. I'll reduce the... There we go. So that backdrop is just... Just the job, really. You get much more of a panorama now, as it were. Right, I'd better go. I'm sure this is going to be too long. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh. Steve Barber, firing line figures, uh, unique, shoulder to shoulder. Uh, I don't know of any other manufacturer that does that, the correct drill position, so more casualties to do. Yes, coming along. Thank you for watching. Bye.